today um, I've been wanting to do a new video for a long time now and yeah I haven't found much like I don't have uh, I'd, I'm like out of ideas to do a video on something anyways so lots of people have been wondering what shadow play is I don't know like most of the people who uses Nvidia graphics card should already know this but if you don't know this then like this is what the, today's video is about about shadow play what it does and how to use it it's pretty simple um, you download GeForce experience from the Nvidia website which is really simple you just go to Nvidia website go to GeForce and it'll have GeForce experience somewhere there will be a huge thing like it'll say GeForce experience and you just download it and after you download it you go here uh, this is what you'll get you'll be able to optimize all your games you have to set your games folder um, let's see how did I actually do that well see location you have to add the locations for the games where you're all where all of your games are then you have to go to games then you have to click this refresh game list and then it will refresh the game list which will it will search your whole computer for games and then it will find all those games and then you'll have a list and then uh, look at this so let's take okay it's ref okay let's take Batman for example right um, I, uh, let's I think I can't do it because of its refreshing but look at this I have the current settings here and the optimal settings here so it shows like uh, in what settings I'll get the most FPS and the most FPS it usually lock like it takes your graphics card sees what what's the best performance it can get and that's the optimal settings uh, but you can go here click here I can't do it right now I'm pretty sure this is because it's refreshing the game list right now but you can click here and change the optimal game settings if you change it to quality then it'll max everything out then it won't be optimized then it'll be just maxed but if you change it to performance then it'll lower every single thing down even the resolution so like you'll have really shitty looking game but it'll give you the best performance which is pretty obvious but if you don't do anything with it like see okay optimize for performance I have it set it right here cuz I want graphics with the good optimization right so you set it from here to here should be good like here you get actual really optimized performance you said it around here if you want really good graphics with that optimized performance anyway then you just have to click optimize and then you're good to go well I don't want to optimize it. I just want to max this game out so it's not optimized right now but who cares right and then there's drivers well, I did say this uh, video is all about shadow play but I'm going through GeForce experience too right now so when uh, you can include beta drivers and then every time there will be a driver update there will be a um, notification right here or when you open this that there there is a new driver update do you want to update or not so then you can get your drivers then my rig you can see like I don't I, I don't even know what this is for you can see what your computer does this is my rig you can see the stuff I have G4 760 i5 4430 it's pretty average it's pretty good it's not bad at all then preferences you go to shadow play then I don't okay yeah I have no idea what this stuff does anyway you can choose pre uh, I press the preference thing and it stopped the recording so whatever um, I wanted to show you how every mode of the thing works of shadow play works but I can't because now my only recording softwares are shadow play and fraps seems like with fraps you can't record desktop you probably i don't know if you can or cannot because i've I, I think i've done it sometimes before but right now it's not working so what you do is uh close this after you set up the your preferences which is for shadow play keep mic always on if you want to make like if you want to do the recording manually and you want to do live commentary you want to talk or record your whatever stuff you say in game it's better to put always on and you know what push to talk means so yeah it should be cool here are all the keyboard shortcuts I can you like you can customize them I can't customize them right now because I'm recording uh, you can't change them while recording and then 
you click shadow play this will be turned off uh, if you click here it'll be turned off but then you, you click here it will turn on uh, then you choose your mode shadow time quality and audio uh, shadow time is when this is in shadow mode you can put it in shadow mode manual or manual and shadow mode manual will if you put it in manual then and you click alter f9 it will start recording and if you click alter f9 again it will stop recording for shadow uh, imagine like you're playing uh, a game it's just as the nvidia um, adds stuff commercial say imagine if you set it to 10 minutes right it will it will always have the last 10 minutes of your game you can increase it up to 20 and with manual it's unlimited but with shadow mode you can increase it have it up to 20 minutes and it'll always have the last 20 minutes of your gameplay recorded like if if you don't want the gameplay recorded you don't have to record it it'll always have it while you're playing like you're playing battlefield 4 and you go on a kill streak of like 20 so but you weren't recording but you want to save that moment and but and shadow play was in shadow mode so what all you have to do is press ultra f10 and it'll save the last 20 minutes of your game and hopefully your kill streak will be inside the 20 minutes and then you can have it and quality high if you want to like record in high quality audio you can choose if you only want in-game sounds or in-game mind microphone and why use shadow play that's that should be the uh, biggest question here right because there are lo lots of other softwares like dx story i never used dx story but i just know the name i have no idea how to use it because uh, i've never used it before then there's fraps why not use fraps because fraps for recording is horrible if you use fraps your frame rate might go down while recording i've played like in Watch Dogs, right i record uh, not at 60 fps i don't even get 60 fps but without the mods and everything i get around 40 fps in high and when i start recording with fraps i start it goes down to 30 that's horrible and that's not even the worst part if you use fraps and you record for 10 minutes your video size will be at least 20 gigabytes 20 gigabytes for 10 minutes and if you record it here in 10 for 10 minutes it will be 3.8 gigs it's way less than fraps and if you're still like oh my god 3.8 gigs is huge you can change the quality to medium or low or you can compress your videos i use this free video compressor uh it does the job it's i don't it got it off the internet it's pretty it's pretty nice actually anyway so if you use shadow play the sizes are way lower than fraps you lose no frames at all if you're playing a game at 60 fps it will record at 60 fps and the game will stay at 60 fps you will no lose no frame rate at all so that's the main p selling po point of shadow play it's so good it's performance it's performance is the main part of this so it's pretty good and Sadly, for all the AMD users out there, this is only for NVIDIA. I'm actually pretty happy at that because I prefer NVIDIA over AMD. Yeah. The main reason for this is obviously physics. If a game doesn't have physics, then it's okay. Then it's AMD, NVIDIA, it's a fair point. Whichever card is cheaper, you get that one. But when a game has physics, then NVIDIA cards just make the game look like 10,000 times better. So that's what I would say and if you're looking for a recording software and you you have an Nvidia graphics card use this and if you're thinking of buying a AMD card or an Nvidia card to record you can get this and use shadow play or if you get AMD all hope is not lost you can still have a recording software that's called game DVR I I haven't used game DVR even once because I don't own an AMD graphics card but one of my friends do and he did make a um, some sort of tutorial i didn't watch the whole thing but i'm pretty sure he talks about lots of st um how game well i did see part of it so he talks about how game dvr works and how to use it so you can check that out it's just like shadow play but it's a bit newer it doesn't have the frame rate fps counter it lacks some stuff i think and yeah and you can't add voice to it you have to add voice like record voice using some other software then you can add voice to it so eh, 
well it's still in beta shadow play is in beta too so game dvr since it's newer than shadow play it'll, it'll take some time to catch up so i'll put the description i'll put the link of the game dvr thing in the description below you can go check it out if you want to and i'll work my i'll do my best to put this video up as soon as possible and i'm sorry because i like in this video i'm like uh, uh like i've been pausing a lot this wasn't very professional but um i don't know i try my best no, actually i didn't try my best but the thing was i haven't done a commentary since so long it's been like almost a month so i've lost a bit of my touch so anyway um thank everyone who's been watching this thank you for watching let me know if you want to see some other games i'm thinking of doing planet edge 2 like a whole series on it because it's so freaking amazing 2000 people in one server that's just mind-blowing and yeah i might also do some battlefield 4 so eh, we'll see and share this video with your friends let them know if they have a nvidia graphics card you can have those fun moments recorded it's great and it works with almost all sorts sorts of games mm. so yeah uh, so everyone thanks for watching share this with your friends subscribe for more stuff go check some of my old videos yeah see ya that that was so awkward anyway that was pretty awkward well whoever i'm gonna put this on anyway